Okay, welcome to another Tactical Technician video from Diagnation. Today's video we're going to call No Crank, it's a, called a No Crank Scope Drill. Basically, when we have a an intermittent no crank and uh, where we want to kind of set our equipment up to see uh, what could be the possibility. Um, take a, a screenshot or a snapshot of your schematic here and uh, you want to use it during this, um, during this demonstration. Um, we're going to look at a bunch of different scenarios, and we're going to do it in a certain, in a different kind of style. Um, we're going to, first of all, I'm going to show you a normal crank, a, a normal cranking vehicle where all the signals are good. We are on eight channels, and um, channel A is, uh, as you can see, is um, the output of our ignition switch, the start pole on our ignition switch. Channel B red is the input on the power side of our starter relay. Uh, channel C green is the is it a connector on the outside of our starter the latching output of our uh, starter relay between the starter relay and the starting motor um, Channel D yellow is right at back probed into the connector at the starter solenoid right there channel E purple is at the um, Input side of the park neutral switch which uh, should be closed obviously in park or neutral to complete the circuit through the starter relay channel F gray is at the ground connector um, where the starter relay grounds. Uh, channel G is, a, is, a, is an amp clamp. It is, that is the current flowing from the starter relay to the starter solenoid to create the magnetic field to latch the starter. There, you can see the starter solenoid. That's the, the black uh, coily looking thing there and the starting motor, which is there, the red, um, uh, as you can see. Channel H burgundy is a amp clamp around our control circuit which basically validates that our circuit is complete through the control side of the relay. Now, I realize that in diagnosing this, you don't have to use eight channels. So um, I always said a good combination is an amp is an amp clamp and a voltage probe with a two channel scope. And you can learn a lot of information um, between the relationship of voltage and current. Um, another thing I want to point out is that uh, always be mindful that the hot lead can carry current because that in itself can cause a no crank as also in addition to um, we have to have good solid ground mounting for the starter because uh, without that nothing the current just does not flow and the system doesn't work right We're going to look at six different situations as you can see in green. Those are six scenarios um, Numbered one through six with green circles around them green implying the green crusties or um, something that would cause a lot of resistance in a circuit and make the circuit not not work properly um, we will go through um, one at a time I will uh I won't tell you what what number is causing the no crank. Um I want you to try to learn just by looking at the scope patterns and looking at, at the, the difference of each of the scope patterns to determine where the um what number is causing the uh the no crank. Um and then right before you do that you want to freeze the video so you have the scope capture in front of you and you have your schematic and just analyze everything and take a look and then write down what, what number you think is causing the no crank. Be one, two, three, four, five, or six. It's only one at a time. And as I said, um, individually, these, these, these problems can, every one of them can cause a no crank condition as you could look at the schematic. So basically, um, I will go to this scope and then uh, we will start going through the scenario. First, we're gonna look at a, uh, at a normal, cranking vehicle and we'll look at the at the uh at the signals what they look like okay Make sure we got a good uh okay here we are and let's uh make sure you guys and gals got a good you got a good view here to watch this thing okay you can see it on the scope that is a normal cranking vehicle and uh everything is where there are no glitches and uh, look at your schematic and we'll take one channel at a time we'll go down the line just to, to get familiar with this um multi-channel uh, diagnostic procedure um blue is the outlet from the uh Ignition switch and we're strong. We're, uh, we're at probably cranking voltage. We're about 9.8 uh, 
which is expected uh, in a good cranking circuit. Red is our uh, feed to our relay, which is good. Also, that's about the same as blue. You can see it there. Um, C green is our output, where our relay is latched and closed, and there's voltage on the output side of the relay. Um, D is yellow. That is power right at our starter, which is good. Um, we can see there, we're weak or strong there. Maybe a little voltage drop, but nonetheless, we're, we're a high voltage at the starter, ready to crank it. Um, channel E is, um, that is the ground side of our starter relay, which is gonna be a low voltage. That is the, the, the ground side of the, uh, the starter relay control coil. So that's gonna be low. We'll look at the millivolts there. We're looking about, uh, Oh, about about 226 millivolts. So that's low, which it, we would expect. Um, channel uh, F gray is also on the um, the ground side of the control of the relay. That's right here. That is um, is going to be low. Also, we have current flowing and a low voltage. That tells us that, that circuit's good. As far as our current flowing, look at our burgundy channel. Okay, that is the current flowing through the relay coil. That's the other uh, control coil. You can see the little pin will help I'll blow that thing up and you can see right here, we've got a little, the, the, co the coil current starts to flow. It's not a lot of amperage. Um, I'm gonna say about, a, what do we got as far as amperage? Maybe about a, about 80 milliamps thrown through that coil. But then unless that, that latches the relay, creates this magnetic field and the relay closes and um, the circuit is good. So this is kind of a, a, a known good cranking situation they said voltage strong on the blue, the red, the green, and the yellow. Our current is flowing properly. Um, a okay, I'm sorry. This is our this is our current flowing to our starter solenoid. This is going to be about a, I'm going to say 10 to 11 amps. Okay, well now we got about 14 amps. That's a, that's a pretty good pull. Um, and also we got validation because we can see some relative compression in the um, cranking circuit uh, on orange. So I'll, I'll stretch that a little. And plus you can see that. Okay, I just wanted for grins, we'll just take a look at that. That is, that's pretty much relative compression. And um, that's because where, you know, the starter is, is cranking and the cylinders are going through their compression strokes. So this is kind of a good baseline for, um, for a good cranking car. Now I'm going to pick um, uh, one, one through six, and then you stop the video and you tell me, um, or you tell you, so write it down, and then I'll tell you the answer once the video resumes of uh, what's causing the, the, the no crank. So here we go. So I'm gonna go to uh, the file, and then we're gonna go to and see what uh, what we got. And, okay, let me see. Okay. Okay, take a look at our, our pattern. Take a look at your schematic and take a look at what we have and what we don't have. Um, this is the, the vehicle cranking, okay? And um, where are we strong? Where are we not strong? Um, take a look at uh, our blue, and we've got we've got full voltage here on blue. Okay, this is pretty much where the key is on the start position. So we're high on blue, we're high on red. So we know we got power to the um, to the starter relay. Um, we don't have any action on green. So we have not latched, okay? We're, we're unlatched. Um, how is yellow? We have nothing on yellow because obviously we're unlatched. Let's look at our current flow, okay? We have current flow on, um, let's look at that, okay. Right. Okay, no, no, current flow. Uh, is, um, is burgundy, I'll get this color clash. But we don't have current flow on our, our channel H. Now look at that schematic and that would be, that, that's kind of a telltale sign, something's up there. No current flow on H. Um, we have, uh, we're high on purple. Take a look at that. If you look at that schematic and right there, the voltage on purple is the same as the blue and the red. That tells us something. So with all that information, you know, take a snapshot of this and just analyze that circuit. And then I'll come back and I'll, um, you know, take your time, freeze this video, and then I'll come back and then I'll uh, we'll explain um, 
what uh, what part of the circuit was causing the no crank. Okay, I'm back. All right. The part of the circuit that was causing the no crank is number five, right at the park neutral switch were open. That thing did not close. When that thing did not close, we don't flow current through the control part of the relay, which tells us that um, the burgundy has no current flowing through it. As you can see right there, uh, we we have full voltage on purple. So right, right before the, the park neutral switch, the voltage sort of deadheads there. It stops there because it has no place to go. That's why it's going to be high there, because it doesn't drop doesn't drop low like it should if it were the voltage drop of a good circuit. So nonetheless, that's um that's our voltage going high at our purple test point because our park neutral switch never closed, and obviously it never closed. We never latched the relay. So green will, will not be high because the relay didn't, didn't latch properly. The green is low and yellow is low because obviously the starter didn't get, didn't get fed. So anyway, that is, a, that is position, um, that is a problem number five. Okay, I'll go to the next problem and see what we can do, uh, how we'll deal with this. Okay. Here it comes, it's loading on the screen. Make sure our camera's still going, okay. Um, okay, this is our second problem. Take a look at it. Now this is a, we're gonna have to do some deduction here. This is a no crank, all right? Take a look at, take a look, a good look at everything on, on your schematic and our underlying symptom, which is a no crank. We're not, nothing is moving up, okay? You can see the action of me trying to start the car here. Um, blue is low, uh, red is low, no current flow. So take a look at that schematic and this one should be pretty, pretty, pretty easy. And uh, I'll freeze the, freeze, the, freeze the video and take a look at everything. And um, I'll, I'll be back and I'll give the answer. Okay, the answer is problem one. It was the ignition switch didn't latch properly. When that switch does not latch, we obviously are not gonna have anything on blue or red. So if we were in a diagnostic situation this, we'd go upstream. We want to make sure the ignition switch is getting fed and things like that. Or uh, in essence, we could hot feed uh, this um, terminal with like a power probe or something to see if, you know, the thing started to crank. But nonetheless, this will be an indicator of problem number one. So let me go to the next one and we'll do the, the next problem. Okay. up on the screen okay take a look at the, this screen let's talk about it and analyze it see what we have and what we don't have okay we were strong on blue okay our ignition switch closed we're strong on red our power got to our starter relay okay um we did not latch because we're i'm sorry we did latch my bad okay we're strong on uh we're strong on on green take a look at that um and you look at your schematic but look at our yellow, we're actually strong on yellow. Okay, that's gotta tell us something, um, that our starting circuit is good, and we, have, we, we don't have current flow on the starting solenoid. You see how orange is flat? It's not getting into the solenoid, but and our control solenoid is flowing current. So everything is good in this situation, and our problem is problem number, um, number four. So um, just bear that in mind that uh, the current is not able to flow into the starter solenoid because of that connection at four. So when you look at all these scope patterns, you sort of deduce that, that uh, the telltale sign is we have power up right up to the starter, but no current flow on orange right here. So let's go to the next one. And here we go. All right, let's look at this one. This is the same symptom. We are, it's a crank, no start um, on this guy. We're high on blue, we're high on red. We're on green, we're low. Okay, so our relay is not latching. Um, 
as far as gray, look at gray. Gray is our ground side of the of the starter relay coil. And that's high, that's elevated. That's gotta tell us something right here. We're almost battery voltage there on our gray test leaks. Look at your schematic. And um, it's gotta, gotta tell you something. We have no current flowing through our coil, through our, our control coil, our starter relay, and obviously no current flowing through our to our starter solenoid. So with all this information, let's freeze the screen and um, come back and I'll give you the answer as to what, what part of the circuit is, uh, is the problem. Okay, I'm back. It is problem number six. The ground at the starter relay ground um, is compromised and it's not letting current flow all the way to ground. So that would give us high voltage on our test point in gray and purple, um, but not going through the ground, and it would inhibit current from throw, flowing through the coil to latch the relay. So, okay, our next scenario, well, here we go. Um, let's take a look at this. Uh, Look at this one. This is another uh, no crank. Let's take a look. Where we are. Okay, here we are. We got a uh, we got our situation. We're high on blue, so our ignition switch is good. We got power to our relay, as in indicated on the red, going high. Our relay closed, as indicated on green. Okay, we have current flowing th flowing through our control coil. You can see right there. And let me see if I can show you that pill hump. You can see that. I just want you to notice that. It looks like a pinnacle hump right there. That's something to bear notice, but that's our coil in our starter relay. So our starter relay control circuit is good. So where um, don't we have a, why don't we have current flowing through to, to the starter solenoid? So let's look at our, uh, let's look at our yellow. Okay, our yellow is low. And you look at your schematic, we just don't have the full voltage at yellow. And we do have it at green. So look at your schematic and um, uh, tell me which, uh, which particular uh, spot in the circuit is causing the, the no crank. You know, freeze the video, take a look at the, the scope captures, and um, I'll be right back. Okay, the problem is problem number three. You can see that connector there. Where that, that, that should become open, uh, it prevents current from flowing through to the starter solenoid, though it would, it would show high on, on the green channel but low on the yellow channel, because that's where our spot where our circuit's compromised. So now we'll go to the final one, and uh, here, and let's take a look. At this situation, this is another crank, but no start. I'm sorry, a no crank. Okay, and here we are, we've got a couple of them. Okay, here's our situation, our no crank. Our blue is strong. Right here, you can see blue at, at full voltage. We're low on red. That pretty much seals the deal. We have no current, no, none of our ankle lamps are flowing current, and there's obviously a reason for that. You can look at the schematic. This one is uh, pretty fairly um, obvious to figure out. So freeze the video, and then I'll come back and tell you where, what the answer is, what of the, the green spots of, of the six is causing this no crank. Okay, I'm back. It is spot number two, which is obvious. You can see that, that connector between the ignition switch and the starter relay. If that should open, it's um, nothing really much gonna happen. We're not gonna get any current flow through the control side of the relay, and obviously nothing through the latching side of the relay to the starter solenoid. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and um, this, is, uh, you know, this is Mark from Diagnation, signing off, tactical technician, and all the best.